there's no substitute for spending some time out on the water. All you have to do with that, see it's got some beads in there, that also help to cast it. Okay, so you uh, do, yeah. When, when you cast it out, then you can just underarm it like that, do a short chuck, Look and it'll that. float. See that's floating? Give it a good couple of cranks to get it down. Okay, right, yeah. And then just bring it back. See how it's swimming now? Nice. What exactly am I looking at here? Because, I mean, this doesn't mean a lot to me. You've got a really good feature, it's the quick access fish ID button that's here. You press that, if somebody like, like you is a bit of a novice with fish yeah. finders, you press that button, you'll see as it just scrolls through and it comes clear, it clears all the oh, clutter wow. out of the water and you can clearly see where the fish are and where the bottom is. Yeah, that's the perfect view, really. Before, and then with the yeah, fish definitely. ID turned on, you can clearly see the weed on the bottom see where the fish are. Yeah, no, that is really clear. A little ball of bait fish just off the bottom, there's still some residue of them there, but oh, yeah. coming through. That's the, the beauty, fish ID is good for, for a beginner. Once you evolve and actually learn what you're seeing on the screen, you can actually determine what's actually there by seeing those big clumps yeah. like that, yeah, you know that's yeah. bait fish. You see a definite arch on there, it's definitely a fish. You actually see a bit more detail when you turn the, turn the fish ID off. Very good for yeah. quickly seeing what's there and then yeah. you turn it off and you can see a lot more detail. Detail, yeah. And then you just get to learn what's what really, I guess.